Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution 1. Ignore the two. The two at the end is a lie, I tell you. This is not a sequel to the rather really excellent and funny Jurassic World Evolution. This is an expansion pack at best and a mission pack DLC at worst. This is not worthy of a fully priced release right here, and I've got a fair bit of complaints about this sequel. It's... it does introduce some new mechanics, but honestly, many of them are either rather underwhelming, like, for example, the access to a, uh, a nice little aquarium right here, where you can see various aquatic dinosaurs like these ichthyosauruses. I mean, it's cool and all, don't get me wrong, it's nice to see more dinosaurs, absolutely, but, well, you just put them in a pond and, uh, you know, they, they chill out in their pond and visitors go watch them and they don't really require any additional care or actions beyond that. You've also got some flying dinosaurs over in the Avery, but it's much the same thing there. You fix their environment to their liking, a bit of sand, a bit of water, and then you toss down a feeder and more or less forget about them. They're not a whole lot different to any of the other dinosaurs. They're just... I mean, th this could have been a mod. This really could have been a mod. Or a um, $10-$15 DLC, perhaps. However, it isn't. It is a full-priced expansion pack, quote-unquote. Now, we've got some wounded... Oh, God, no. Are you... <sighs> yep. So, I'm currently got a little bit of a bug here where the Velociraptors can somehow find their way over here, but once they're there, they freeze and they can't leave, and so they simply just starve to death, eventually and I've found no way to make them stop going here. I can capture them, I can force them back, but every time they somehow manage to get over there, but they can't leave. You can see I've actually removed all of the forest in the area in the desperate hope that that might make them stop killing themselves. No, no, uh, no joy on that just yet. Well, I'll try to track it, if nothing else, and move it away. They have added some other mechanics as well, but honestly, I'm not a particularly big fan of most of the mechanics that they've added. Oh, there you go. Uh, for example, it, they, they have added in too many busy work things. Some of them I like in theory, but I really dislike in praxis. One of them is the... Um, oh, never probably did. Uh, one of them is the healing of severely injured dinosaurs. So there's one over here with a major fracture somewhere hiding in the god dang bushes. Yeah, now I, I will never be able to spot that, so I'm going to have to do that uh, automatically. Even then I can't bloody see it. There it is. Right. And instead of simply being able to heal them up, Yep, that one killed itself. God damn it. They're not cheap to replace either, so I would really like to know why they get stuck over here, but... Oh well. First, you gotta trank them, and then you've gotta transport them, and you gotta bring them over to the doctor facility. Then you've gotta get one of your doctors to heal them, which costs money, but more inter importantly, the clicks. On the one hand, I like the idea of a bit more of a, uh, of a complex healing system for dinosaurs. That has some appeal to it. Uh, what's wrong with you, then? No ailment data. He's just... unhealthy because reasons. Okie dokie. Alright, then. Such is life. And... We'll cue those up to fix them up a little bit. It's just, it's, it's a lot of attention that you need to keep going. And as you get a bigger and bigger park, there's more and more busy work, frankly. This is another one of them, fuel. You have to manually go in and add fuel. Like you have to manually go in and add food. 
That's not a very interesting gameplay mechanic. It's just... Oh, they're all getting sick now for some reasons. There's clearly something wrong in there. See, this is far more interesting because now it's a little bit of a mystery. Like, okay, what's actually going wrong here? What's, what's actually ailing them? What's the problem? And try and figure it out by getting the data transmitted to me. Why is... Uh, I think one of the icons is just bugged. Now, there we go. That was the one. That was the one. Right, then the treatment plan begins over there, and when the treatment is done, I then have to go over there again and uh, reclaim it. All of these buildings, by the way, require, again, the manual resupply of fuel, which you cannot automate. Every time your vehicles goes out on a patrol, it requires fuel. Every time a helicopter goes out on a patrol, it requires fuel. And, oh, God, I'm, I've been neglecting these because I've been so busy dealing with all of the cookie, cook, cookie clicker nonsense that I've completely forgotten about fixing their uh, actual living space. Ay. And that's not the only thing. There's also your staff members, which need paid vacations for $75,000 because you ask them to do their jobs too often. Which is, and they don't reduce their stress at all. The unrest only goes up, it never goes down, no matter how long you wait. So it's another thing where you have to go there, you have to click on the building, click on the scientist, click on the unrest. This is on top of going to this building, clicking on the expedition map, clicking on the big map, finding what you want. Let's see, uh, Velociraptors, maybe we need some replacements. Maybe they're just retided. Maybe that's why they keep dying all the time. Clicking on what you want, clicking on the correct scientist, starting the task, then it comes back and you need to click on the sign center, click on the fast out level. There's so many little busy work things now. Now, it's nice to keep the player, player busy, obviously, but the first game actually had a fairly decent balance on this. I never felt like I didn't have anything to do in the first one, yet, and here, I feel like I, I am just swamped with mindless busy work more often than not, which means that I have to actually neglect the dinosaurs, the fun part of the bloody video game. Right, okay, so you need some ground fibers, otherwise you're gonna starve to death, so let's make sure you actually have some. Uh, you have plenty of open space, and you need some water. Okay, yes, water would be a nice addition to, uh, to the dinosaur's habitat, I feel, so let's splunk down a lot of that. Right, that's gonna make that one a lot happier. Uh, we've got the Edmontosaurus. Uh, they're gonna... Apotosaurus, there you go. He's hungry. It's actually, yeah, I've, I've forgotten him for so long. It's actually affected his health, poor them. Poor thing. Oh, he's also got Bracken poisoning. Or oh, that's, that's a vulnerability, never mind. Right, so, edit environment. He needs tall leaf. All right, that's fantastic. Uh, tall leaf? Yes, just tall leaf. Okay, let's give him some of that. He's a lot of tall leaf. I can cut down a little bit on the forest. He's got plenty of that. There we go. That'll make him a lot happier. There we are. My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was I was busy healing a uh, a dumbsaurus. Those little headbutting morons. Right. What was actually wrong with the uh, the knockoff delf dolphins then? That's all they are, they're knockoff dolphins. Even even the audience knows it. Look, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven people watching the knockoff dolphins. Nobody cares about knockoff dolphins, unsurprisingly. Avian the Avian Influenza. Right, very well. My uh, my knockoff dolphins have the Avian Influenza. Fair, I I suppose. Let's Sign some doctors to deal with this. And again, this is fine. This is good. I want to be dealing with this kind of stuff. It's all the other nonsense I don't want to have to deal with. In fact, I might want to put down another medical center here because this is pretty far out of the way after all. So in water, I I really don't think this is in water, but uh, whatever you say, video game. There we are. There's also another aspect that really... Oh, yeah, fucking fuel. 
There's another aspect that really annoys me as well, because a lot of these Italy issues can potentially be resolved in the custom game mode. It's got a very nice little sandbox mode where you can, amongst other things, turn off fuel, which I absolutely would. Oh, God damn it, they die. <sighs> Again, like... <laughs> the thing is... Normally, this would be an interesting part of running a dinosaur park. Like, this would be a screw-up, an avoidable screw-up, but I'm just so annoyed by all of the busy work that I'm not even interested anymore. I'm just... I am just frustrated at the continuous running around. And I was going to say, that could be fixed in, um, in Sandbox, right? Sandbox would fix all of these issues, nice and simple. Except here's the thing. You can only unlock stuff in sandbox mode by playing through the tutorial, the campaign, it's, it, it's not a campaign, it's just a tutorial, and playing through the various challenge and chaos theory missions. So you need to play these to unlock dinosaurs in them, which means all of the little annoying things you absolutely hate, you have to play them. You can't skip it, which is incredibly annoying. It's even worse, too, because a lot of these are... They're, they're not really interesting. You can... Um, they're, they're, the Chaos Theory missions are probably the most interesting. The, the campaign is literally just a tutorial. It is boring as all F. But... At least the Chaos Theory missions could be cool in theory. In theory. Many much, many much, uh, many, many much, many much, uh, much so in theory. Let's modify your genome a little bit here. Actually, I don't have that one. Do I want to bother? Ah. Thirsty, you know what? I, I can deal with Thirsty. Let's just make some of you so we can attract some more gullible visitors to the park. There you are. What was I on about there for a second? I lost my train of thought. Are you all dead yet? Uh, undiagnosed ailments. God dang it, they managed to get sick too. Ugh. Busy work, busy work, busy work, busy work. I wish you could automate the health cars as well. That would be very nice. You can automate the ranger cars to check in on the um, to check in the, on the dinosaurs. So I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to do the exact same thing with the medical vehicle. Where's the second one? Oh, there you are. Okay, and we managed to cure them of the alien influenza, so at least we managed to save those ones. That's nice. And just as I say that, one of the little dumbass sauruses managed to crush its skull again, and it's probably going to require yet more extensive clicky treatments. And now these are dying. I... I man, the previous game had a pretty good balance of keeping the player busy, but but not annoying the player. This this game has the balance all wrong. Like I am, I am just frustrated at this point. And my park isn't even particularly large yet. Like I still probably have over half of the map left, and I'm already like I, I'm just frustrated by the micromanagement. I don't even want to play anymore because it's just stressful. It's running around like, oh god, click, 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 oh god, oh god, and now the scientists are freaking out, oh god, oh god. And now I'm running out of money because all of this, of course, also sucks you bone dry of cash as well. Everything costs money. 75,000 bucks to send your researchers on vacation. Two million dollars to go looking for Mosasaur uh, stuff. 50,000 bucks to start extracting things from fossils. <sighs> and when you're not freaking out, <laughs> it's it's got one of the worst balances I've ever seen. Because, oh yes, that was what I was talking about a little bit there. The, the Chaos Theory missions. Where, oh god, disease. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. I'm just like, I, I don't even want to anymore. All right, diseased algae poisoning. Sure, algae poisoning. Very well. All right, let's get that. Researching then. There we 
we are. Now we wait for that to finish, which is only 20 seconds, so let's actually take direct control of this vehicle. And make sure we can actually medicate it before it spreads like crazy. Rebuilding the original Jurassic Park is one of the Chaos Theory missions, and that sounds really goddamn cool until you realize it's basically just a hand-holded tutorial again, where it goes like, build this one building. No, no, not over there. Here, where I tell you to build that one building. Then build this second building. Yes, that, that too over there. And then you get a little bit of freedom where it's like, okay, now you get to build a tiny little bit. You just need to get X amount of visitors or earn X amount of money and so on. And they did that in the first game's campaign as well, but it was more of a continuous thing. You would unlock stuff and you'd have more stuff on the next map, so you'd be moving forwards. Meanwhile here, every Chaos Theory mission is a new mission, where all of your stuff is removed again. So you gotta start all the way from the bottom, working your way up with the slow earning system, with a constant money drain, and it just, it slams on the brake every time you start a new Chaos Theory mission. It's taken me about five hours, roundabout, I think, to get to this point right here. And even now, I, I still have to occasionally just Oh, great. Uh, well, that's cohabitation, so it's not going to be a, a big problem. Let's release some of those. I'm still now just kind of freaking out that I, I never have enough money. My current mission is to get the Mosasaurus. I've been on that mission for about two hours, because each and every single attempt to get a Mosasaurus, to get the, uh, the stuff for its... Uh, all right, I couldn't afford that. To get its fossil stuff costs two million bucks. So then you just gotta sit there, and in between the moments of just constant annoying franticness, you're just sitting here, you know, crossing your crossing your arms, going, "Okay, um, I get. I guess I wait for the next thing to happen." All right, you need you need fruits or something, don't you? Uh, you need... No, you just need Tall Leaf. Have you just not been eating because you're retarded? Let's, uh, get you a little bit more of these just in case. It is Great Purge period for the Triceratopses right now. They are, uh, they're getting very old and so they are dying very, very swiftly, one by one. And we're gonna wait a bit longer. Da, 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 da. Wait, wait, wait. We've, we've gotten out of the panicky stage now. Now we're in the twiddle your thumbs and wait for the cash to slowly rise phase. Uh, more injury, more dead. I, I had so much fun with the first one. Like, I, I remember having so much fun with the first one. And I don't even want to play this anymore. <laughs> I don't even want to play this anymore. Uh, hello? Can I, uh... No? Uh, oh, it's got a... Oh, yeah, it's already been diagnosed. Ah, oh, major fracture, okay. So again, I've got to go over here, I've got to add to task, I've got to go back over here, i got to find it, then i got to click on it, then i got to... Wait a bit for it to come over, then I need to heal it, and that's going to cost another giant bunch of money, so let's get these hatching whilst we can still afford it. You really need to... See, on the one hand, I kind of like the... Um... Oh god, he's busy, isn't it? Yeah, my one guy with the cheaper hatching is, of course, busy right now, so either I've got to wait another... What, three minutes for him to finish up, or I'll just do it, and I'll just... And I'll have to get loads of scientists on it if I even can. Uh, I I can't. Right. Well, waiting it is then. <laughs> I really enjoyed the first one, and I am so not enjoying this one. 
there is there is way too much busy work and I can't even go into sandbox because I have to unlock all of the dinosaurs here before I can go there and actually have fun playing the game. I mean, I, I'm being very, very negative. The, the core mechanics are still good. Like the idea of dealing with the dinosaurs, uh, looking after them, building the enclosures, uh, fixing the enclosures up so that they're all right and proper and can support the dinos that's in there. All of that is still fine and dandy and cool, but there's just too much busy work now. Too much stressful and annoying busy work that it adds nothing to the game. Having to manually send my scientists on a vacation so that they can eat up another giant chunk of my income, that, that's not interesting. That's not fun. That's not challenging. It, it doesn't really add to the difficulty unless... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't answer the to the difficulty either, unless you think that difficulty is watching the money counter slowly go upwards. Like if that is the idea of difficulty, like oh, you have to take care of the economy. Yes, by watching the money counter slowly go up. Obviously, you can improve the uh, the efficiency of the park by uh, fixing up the. Right, let's see if I can do anything here, for example. Can I add on anything to increase the appeal here? Uh, I can. I can add on an aquarium. No, that will actually decrease the profits. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's running about as well as it can. So you just, in that case, you just need more dinosaurs. You need more dinosaurs, more stuff to show off, which of course means that you need to spend a... A lot of money getting them, which means you need to spend a lot of money waiting for the counter to tick up. And whilst you're doing all of that, you also get to keep an eye on everything, because you're constantly being spammed with notifications that stuff is getting sick or injured or fighting, etc. There's too much. There's too much, and it's too much busy work. Again, and the worst part is too, this can be fixed in the sandbox mode. The sandbox allows you to turn off things like fuel, to turn off things like uh, dinosaur sicknesses or dinosaurs dying if you so will. I would like it even better if they allowed you to uh, modify it like they're, uh, they're not as likely to die or they, uh, they die more slowly, etc. They're 25% uh, percent more longevity and stuff like that. I also wish it would just actually heal it when it diagnoses it instead of going like, please click on me again and then click on the target so I know what to do. Hey. Uh, I feel like I am being awfully negative, but it's, it's because for a sequel, I feel like this is a worse game in almost every way that adds almost nothing to the formula except for... You can now have water dinosaurs in a pond, and you can have flying dinosaurs in a chicken cage. That... it should have been DLC. It really, this entire game should have been a $30 DLC. Add in the Chaos Theory game mode, because that's kind of cool, you know, the re rebuild these famous islands from the famous movies with a handful of new dialogue lines. Okay, interesting in a way, I, I, can, I can dig it. Add on the new maps, and add in the new, uh, the new environments, the new biome environments, the Avery and the pond, and ignore the rest. Or if you're gonna do staff management, I don't mind, but... Again, this is just needless busy work. I do like the skills. The skills would be nice. I would like to keep the skills so I have to get specialized uh, personnel to do specialized things. And I also do like the idea that they can have specialized skills like, for example, making expeditions cheaper. That's really nice. If I wanted to, for example, go and get some Triceratops genome, for example, I would get the... Uh, oh, I, I can't because she's probably busy doing something else. Stupid. 
Uh, but I could theoretically get an employee that specialized in that to do it for me. Hmm. I do not recommend this game the way it is now. It's... It is too expensive. The additions are not good enough. Most of them are just actually annoying. And it's basically a full cost product. It's it's not worth the price. It is just simply not worth the price. Not for what it's offering. If this had been an expansion, great. Where you could already have all of the dinosaurs, you can have them unlocked, you could go straight into sandbox, you could turn on and off the new um, the new mechanics as you pleased, I would have been nothing but enthusiastic for it. But as it is, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> I just don't want to play it anymore. And if I don't want to play it, I certainly am not going to recommend anybody buy it for full price. Oh, look. A storm. Another piece of god dang busy work. That requires me to open the shelters and then wait for the storm to hit and then click on the little cars to manually restore things. Probably go and trank some dinosaurs. <laughs> Whilst also, of course, dunking my rating into the ground despite incidentally keeping everybody safe via underground shelters so that I have to earn even less money for a while so that the money counter rises even more slowly for a while. Sigh. Oh, good, it's a good, it's a, it's a big storm, too. Lovely. Lots of stuff to repair, lots of stuff to use money on, lots of stuff to keep me another hour away from the goddamn Mosiosaurus. <laughs> you know what? I'll wrap it up there, because I think I've made my thoughts and feelings on the title very clear. It's not quite as disastrous as this ginormous hurricane that strikes your island once every 20-30 minutes or so. But it's pretty damn close. It is not worth the price, and even if it is up on a heavy discounted sale, honestly, unless you are absolutely... You're sick again. You're goddamn sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 unless you are absolutely desperate to play with i i think a grand total of like five underwater animals um let me actually check yes no four if four underwater animals and uh da -da -da -da. And, and four flying animals, don't buy this game. Just go get the first one, or wait for the other Jurassic-style game that's coming out as well. I Name escapes me right now, but I think it intends to be a lot more of a tree handling the dinosaurs-focused experience, which is exactly what I want right about now. Until next time, I've been Arch, thank you all very much for watching, and I am going to go and kill every last one of these troublesome little dinosaurs right now. Have a good day.